good to put that on ball again. It's been a little while between drinks. Yeah, it has been. It was nice to get out there and play some cricket. Unfortunately, the weather's closed in on us here, but yeah, nice to, to get out there and have a run around. Um, bowlers got some overs under their belt, and uh, yeah, we managed to have a little hit at the at the start there, but lost to to, to the rain. Um, good, good little first off with um, uh, with Finchy, seventy five odd. You know, first wicket was pretty good. Yeah, me and Stoney. Uh, that's yeah, that's all right. Me and Stoney. Yeah, it was nice to get out there and have a bat with him. I haven't played with Stoney for a while, obviously with teammates in Victoria, and yeah, get out there and get a get a few runs. It was, um, yeah, it was nice. Uh, the bowl was stuck, he was certainly flying in a little bit, so yeah. it was nice to get a couple out of the middle, but um, yeah, uh, unfortunately we lost the day. Yeah, still got a good three hours in though, yep. when you include warm up and practice and things, so. Yeah, considering we probably didn't think we were gonna get any cricket in today, it was nice to get out there and have a run around, just to warm up with the boys, and um, yeah, have a run around was nice, so. Um, guys will get a little bit more training in tomorrow and then we'll, we'll hopefully get a crack at another game on Sunday. So, uh, fingers crossed the weather holds off for us. How have you found everything on this trip so far? It's obviously very, very different, but uh, you know, you found it pretty reasonable again. Yeah, it's a little bit different. I suppose when you come on an international tour anyway, you're kind of you're secluded to the team and the hotels and the grounds a little bit anyway. So, um, it hasn't been a huge change, just the protocols obviously. The, the biggest change, uh, making sure we're sticking to those and masks and washing our hands and all that kind of stuff is the biggest difference. But actually being at the hotel and then training, it's not a, it's not a huge tra uh, change from when we come on an international tour anyway. Yep. And, and playing in, in proper match conditions, obviously yep. in the nets and things at home. Yep. But is that, is that what you need in the next week? Yeah, absolutely. It's nice to... England's great to have hotels, you know, right on the grounds, and we were able to go out there and access, like, an oval, yeah, just to stand out in the middle with no nets around you is valuable, and especially the bowlers. They obviously haven't had a lot of match practice. Um, it's all good bowling in the nets, but then to go and stand in the field uh, is always the hardest part, so these matches are vital for us. But um, I'm sure if we can get a 50-over game in, which looks like we're going to, and a couple more T20s, the bowlers will have plenty of work under their belt, and um, we'll be rare out. Uh, raring to go by the time the first T20 comes around. Lastly then, how did you rate it as a first up you know, today even though we didn't finish? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, everyone looked, you know, everyone's come here in really good nick physically and with their cricket. So, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good hit out. It was actually, even though it was only 15 or 16 overs, it was still nice to just blow the cobwebs out a little bit. And, um, yeah, the next three or four games will be important for guys to get overs in, um, people to get some runs and put their hand up for selection. So, no, it's exciting just to be back on tour and being, as you said, out there running around with the boys again.